All right, for the most part, uh, I think we've, I think the chat's online, which is good. Why do I even bother? Hold on, put the camera. I just, just adjust my seat. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, it's just gonna be weird when I drive, I guess. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're early again, which isn't a problem. It's not a problem. I think it's funny too. Nah, I forgot that. <clears throat> no, we're early again. We're early. And uh, I don't know, I guess it gives me time to see what's going to go wrong and I don't know, look around, think about what the stream is going to be about, but, uh, no, this one's just going to be off the cuff, welcome, the two viewers, <laughs> it's so weird, uh, seeing this actually work properly, because the first time, <laughs> you know, the first time it just says zero, and you're thinking, what? So, yeah. Alrighty, we have the chat, the chat, we have the chat, we have the chat up, we can see people, hello, hello. Um, you know, if it's a name I can't pronounce, I'm just going to, <laughs> to and through, just like the title of the stream, just gonna probably say hi back, and, and I'm, I'm slightly nearsighted, and it, you know, I am further away than it looks. Uh, no, there's no plan for this stream. I just kind of want to, uh, I want to get myself in a routine every Saturday, 1 p.m. my time, CDT. Y'all can do the math on that. Um, I mean, apart from that, I just want to see what, uh, what comes to mind. Uh, we're early. We are early. So, um, we'll, we'll chill out. Welcome. If you have questions shoot from the hip we can do a little uh, we can do pre-show pre-show q and I guess before I just talk about what's on my mind I don't know maybe that's what this will turn into at least until I can save you know however amount of dollars it'll take to get into the twitch game because I know you just can't go do that flippantly you can't go do that with your laptop from high school. <laughs> you gotta have the tower, you gotta have the mic. I'm sure it's a lot easier than what I'm imagining it'll be like, but you know, I gotta change the setup. Because right now, like I think everyone else does, If you're not into gaming, you're just like a regular person. It's just you use your phone for everything. I'm mean, there. There was a time, right, when flip phones you could you could send an email, but you're not going to type someone a serious email. You know, you could IM and do the the little things, but you know, you needed a laptop. And uh, now that we have smartphones that just do uh, all the above, I just I've always stuck with having a decent smartphone and never bothered with having a laptop and the last nice one I had eventually broke and then I, you know, there was sensitive material on it and I'm like I'm not taking it to go get fixed I just you know Hillary Clinton did <laughs> you know no I don't know I don't know exactly what she did but I did beat it with the hammer that is you know I, I, I tried to destroy it, everything <laughs> I tried to destroy as much as I could on there and I trashed it like yeah I can't I can't take this to go get fixed I've I've read and heard about some horror stories so, alright, so I downloaded Twitch after saying that you had no viewers last week. I can't believe this is live. Say hi to me. Well, we'll just call you... See, I'm not going to spend too much time trying to pronounce people's names, but hi, you know who you are. Hi, 99, 90C. I'm nearsighted. I thought 96. <laughs> see, But uh, I will read your message, and then I'll, I'll respond uh, in that order. Or prompt, you know, you know how. I just went on a five-mile run, so I'm a bit, uh, 
maybe it was the sun, maybe I haven't hydrated, maybe I haven't got the water I lost from sweating. <laughs> but uh, now, I, today I went on a, uh, a five mile run. It was like five, five one seven, because I've got a smartwatch, which I know how to use like, only 20% of its, you know, 20% of it. It's just, you know, I, right now I'm just wearing it because it has the GPS and it tracks your workout, so I use it for running and it maps out where I ran. Okay. It maps out where I ran and you know, it gives me elevation and what I need to work on, asymmetry, stiffness, all this crap, you know, that I'm not even, you know, I don't even bring justice to the amount of capabilities this watch, you know, can do. But, uh, yeah, so I, I don't know if I'm brain dead right now from the sun or just that lengthy run but yeah about like just over five miles and uh, I guess going into that we uh, we we I started a new workout uh, I don't know I'm just doing uh, I'm combining it with uh, the amount of steps I'm taking I was doing a lot more running but I found out recently this new position I took on at work I'm walking like on average 20, like 6,000 miles, or <laughs> that'd be incredible. 26,000 steps, like the equivalent of 12 miles or so, every shift, five days a week. And I thought, I'm only going to run on the weekends now because I'm getting, you know, and I, I read that you are burning 100 calories per thousand steps. So, goodness, I mean, Hence that last Instagram photo that was uploaded. So if you think I look a bit skinny, <laughs> we'll just call that aesthetic. But yeah, no, I I lost some weight, definitely. And that's just, I, I recently took on this new position. So hey, everyone that's joining, uh, we're just getting started. Like, I don't even, what, what time is it? The time in the truck's wrong, I don't care, I, I never bothered changing that, it's okay, we'll just, uh, I have do not disturb on, so I won't reveal any, okay, yeah, we're, uh, I guess the time to start would have been about seven minutes from now, but of course, we started early, you know how it is over here, that's probably going to be my style, unless I forget, or, you know, and I, I hop on late, I'm probably just always going to be here early, finding out what's going to go wrong, what's going to go right, and, uh, prepare so no so I've been getting in all those steps and uh, mostly I'm just doing now push-ups pull-ups and sit-ups I just typed in I'm like who works out the hardest like who literally gets paid to like PT all the time and I'm like I type in military workout or something and it pulled up green green beret you know training if you want to do this special ops or whatever and uh, special forces and I looked into it and it's I'm doing the minimum because it calls for a ridiculous amount of pull-ups and push-ups and sit-ups but right now uh, every other day I'll do uh, ten or seven sets of ten pull-ups and I don't you know I've got a little system I'll do three dead hang, wide, walk around, check myself out, look at the pump, I'll come back like 15 seconds later, do three, you know, same thing, three, or, or then two, two, you know, three, three, two, two, ten sets of that, or seven sets of that, ten reps per set, and so it's not like I'm doing ten, just dead hang, you know, that's what I'm assuming they meant, but it's like, goodness, who, you know, you're going to rip your arms off. Uh, and then push-ups, it's just standard push-up. I've only been doing this for like a week. 20 reps, 10 sets. You know, I do 20 at a time, it's no big deal. And then sit-ups, it's 40 reps, 5 sets. So you end up doing 70, 200, 200. And that's the minimum. That's like, I was like looking at the set 
rep range. I'm like, okay, we'll just go minimum. <laughs> you know? We'll just, and you know, I've been, uh, I've been progressing. I've been progressing. So we'll, we'll pump those numbers up and we'll change the grip on the pull-ups. And eventually, I know eventually, eventually, because I've been looking into like other streamers, you know, guy streamers and you know, you got the push-up cam and I'm like, dude, that's so me. So, you know, we'll, we'll do silly, stupid stuff like that. And, uh, you know, we'll keep track of my progress and maybe even for YouTube, I'll film a workout. Here I am just sitting with my water. So, let's read the message here. It's great that besides working, you're working out, right? I know. Right? Uh, let's see. Uh, did that get cut off? So working out. Do you practice any sports like swimming? Well, uh, I've always loved swimming. I grew up in, uh, I grew up for a big chunk of my life. A big chunk of my life. I grew up in like a lake resort town. So me and a lot of friends would swim in the lake and I've always loved it and then I recently not recently but I've taken on lap swimming before and I've had I had a girlfriend that uh, you know did it competitively in high school or something and then she taught me a little something here and there yada yada but uh, in my current situation I am so far away from an actual 25 meter pool where they'd have lanes set up to do lap swimming, YMCA, too far away. It's like, you know, and, and the workout calls for lap swimming, and it's like insane. The minimum for that's like a thousand meters. I'm like, come on, dude. I'll do like, a, I might maybe do like 200. It's like, but with lap swimming, it depends, you know, because you've got people waiting sometimes to get in the lane. So what am I going to swim for 100, 200 meters? And then, Woo! You know, get out of the pool and make it look like I'm done, or just hang out by the side and catch a breeze. You know, I don't want to do that. I don't want to hang someone up like that because I know it's just strictly business. People get in there, they get their workout in, and they leave. And so, even if I were gonna make the trip, and I've I've called around, it's so ridiculously expensive to sign up at a gym or just sign it wherever that would that has lap swimming, twenty five, fifty, whatever. And uh, it's it's just not worth the trip for me. It's like one way. I'm like 40 minutes away, one way from the closest pool, and then combine that with the price. I maybe would go once a week. And uh, but don't get me wrong. As soon as I can start swimming laps, I will. I will because it's it's huge. You know, it's low impact. Literally working every muscle in your body. Stay cool all the time. I mean, what's not to love about it? So. I just want to make sure this scrolls. Okay, cool. I don't know. Someone's going to type a message to see the next person that types. I guess we'll see if it does the auto scroll. Probably does. Um, so, this is cool to see Twitch actually working the way it should. Hopefully, it saves the stream to uh, as a video file for people that can watch it later. I'm video recording the screen anyway, so it's going on YouTube. And the first upload will be proper sizing, so, uh, you know, trial and error, right? Whenever I make a mistake, I always think I won't make that mistake again, and a lot of times I have in life, but, uh, you know, it's just, uh, I try to keep that positive mentality going, you know, I won't make that mistake again, and if I tell myself that, usually I'm better at learning from mistakes um, than uh, making them twice or three times or for the rest of my life, right? Alrighty, so, um, two and through, two and through. Second stream, just gonna see what comes to mind. You know, I was going to talk about uh, what I've been eating lately because with all these steps that I've been taking at work, 26,000 for those of you who are just showing up. It's like a half marathon every shift, right? So. Five days a week, I mean, you look at what, two and a half marathons worth of walking? <laughs> I mean, it's just insane. You'd think I'd be a mailman. And I probably should be. I'd make a great mailman. Uh, I don't know if they do a lot of walking anymore. Um, right? Like, look, that's so lame, right? Mailman. I mean, dude, I remember, well, I guess it depends where you live. There's probably some of them that still walk, and they are heroes. 
<laughs> I mean, they're always just like got these like beefed up calves, like the strongest. <laughs> they look like they look like a gym rat, you know, but they're just dude, all I do is walk and deliver the mail, man. All right, so we got, yeah, swimming is great and relaxing. I hope you can go to, I hope you can go swimming soon. May God help you out. Yeah, of course, absolutely. What's the best swimsuit? I don't, you know, I, when I was swimming, I used to just like wear like, it's probably, this was like at the, uh, this was like a Ray Kroc Center with Salvation Army. This was like, high school, a little after high school maybe, I know exactly what I'm talking about, like where I can picture it, but I'm just trying to think, I used to like, people probably thought they looked like jammers, I know what you're talking about, square cuts and all that, no, jammers go down to like, those are silly, I think, I think if you're going to swim competitively, yeah, wear those, whatever, you know, do, do your thing, but like, yeah, I'm just going to probably wear some like, all those square cut, you know, and I used to do that, like I was... What did I used to do? I used to like, basically, I had like, <laughs> if people knew that was like the underwear I was wearing, like if people knew that's what I was wearing under my pants, they probably would have been like, dude, get out of the pool, dude. <laughs> you cannot get in here with your underwear, dude. <laughs> Go change, all right? But no, I don't know, I pulled it off for some reason. You know, like, you know, they had the, the cabanas or whatever, and uh, I, I, I was already wearing like, something that looked like square cut, you know, the thing in between jammer and whatever, speedo or whatever. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it looked like something you'd wear to go swim. So I'd wear that. And like, I had my swim cap and cause I, I was trying to do it for physical fitness and I was going, you know, whenever I could, and it was like the coolest place ever had rock climb, you know, I had the full, the whole shebang. So, but, uh, I don't know if I were to do it again, I'd probably just go on Amazon. I mean, with the convenience of Amazon nowadays, I would probably just go buy the first thing that popped up. I don't know. I'd, like bike shorts, something like of that, you know, equivalent, but yeah, I don't know. It doesn't really matter swimwear. I mean, who cares? <clears throat> but I'll just probably go on Amazon. I really need to buy, you know, I got to get all the gear. You don't want to be that dude who's like, <laughs> I want to look like I know what I'm doing, you know. But, uh, I mean, uh, apart from that, so new workout, I'm running a lot. You know, I'd hope to, I've got one friend who swears he's going to do a marathon with me. So that's, that's going to be huge. If I can, you know, I don't even know, maybe I'll do like a half marathon and, uh, and a full marathon just so I can get the feel, you know, 12 plus or whatever, 23.2. I don't even, know. you know, it's like, I'm already walking 12 miles at work. If I'm running like a 12 minute mile pace, who cares? You know, it's probably, it's probably doable, you know, but, uh, no, yeah, yeah. The uh, I was running a, a nine minute thirty three average mile pace for these five miles, and uh, you know if it's good weather and the sun's not just absolutely brutalizing me, then I don't see why I couldn't uh, you know run a half marathon or even a full marathon at that pace. I'll explain what happened in a second if you didn't already know. Oh, that's weird. That's Alrighty, um, so my phone overheated, that's a first, right? So we live and learn, we live and learn yet again. I actually have <laughs> the phone right in front of the AC now, so hopefully you can still hear me and everything's working out. Alrighty, five viewers, cool. So, long story short, the phone overheated. Uh, I've got the AC blasting now. And hey, it's better than the truck overheating, right? <laughs> yeah, well, I can't just get up and do that willy-nilly like I'd love to do. I've got priorities. But as soon as I can, I don't know, we'll just say, save a thousand dollars <laughs> to blow I guess invest because I know this can turn into 
a source of income, which should be the coolest thing ever. It's streaming. Let's see. Let's just see if... Okay, that should be okay. Yeah, so... It will happen eventually because there's this crazy new game. That'll probably be like the only reason. <laughs> there probably is, but I need to figure it out in the settings. Uh, and I, I think you can follow. I'm, I'm fairly new to Twitch as well, and welcome everyone that's uh, still hanging out. But uh, no, like literally the only reason I even want to do streaming, I probably would have just done this on YouTube in the first place, but... <laughs> Twitch apparently is the video game central, whatever. I've always had a Twitch, and rarely do I go on it, but whenever I do, it forces you to watch an ad before you check so-and-so's channel, or most people's, right? All the big guys, all the, all the big ones. And it's got this new pirate game. I, I, I double-checked, I went to YouTube, I checked out the gameplay trailer, or whatever it's called. I'm just getting so excited, I forgot the name of it already, but it's, uh, what is it, it's, oh, who cares, <clears throat> anyways, some really cool new pirate game, <laughs> that's like, you know, everyone's still making fun of it, they're like, dude, why do the pirate ships move like a jet ski, <laughs> when are we going to get a realistic pirate game? Anyways, I, I forgot what it's called, but if you just go on YouTube and search pirate game it'll show up you know you'll see it YouTube shorts will show it everyone's talking about it apparently that wants to play it so we're gonna do that apparently you can like just it's like a role-playing game you, you start off as like some scumbag pirate you know <laughs> just piece of trash and you just become captain of your own ship or a fleet or whatever and it's it's gonna be exciting we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get crazy. We're gonna do, play pirates. That's what we're gonna do. That's what I'm excited for. And then maybe if I get bored of pirates, we'll do like a Halo thing because I've always liked Halo. Or maybe Call of Duty. I, th I don't know what the kids are playing. We'll see. We'll see. All right. So, to, 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 to Square Cuts team, I recommend you Nike and Adidas. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, with the whole swimming thing. Uh, T Y R M P ones. Yeah, yeah. Swimming with square. Yeah, way better than wearing those big. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. But yeah, people overreact. When so Honestly, if I <laughs> like, I was just looking at Michael Phelps, right? And this probably has to do with you know saving milliseconds right off your time, you know. But they got the. They just got the onesie, <laughs> right? I mean, they're just like going full dolphin mode, right? So, if I, I mean, obviously, that wouldn't matter to someone just doing it for a workout, right? But, yeah, no, it's, who cares, right? Uh, yeah, swimsuit, I just uh, like to know what you do for a living. Yeah, uh, right now, I'm, uh, just working, just, uh, well, I, I have a little bit more of a privileged position, but lately I've just been laboring, uh, just general labor, different odd jobs, you know, I can't go into specifics, uh, but, you know, just odd jobs here and there. Uh, right now I'm at some place that I, uh, particularly like, I mean, it's dangerous, which is fun and exciting, but... Yeah, just uh, working hard and uh, having a fun time doing it. We'll see where it takes me. Probably, probably nowhere. Honestly, a lot of these jobs lead nowhere. Um, if you can make it up to the point where you can go from just general laborer to wearing a you know suit and tie to work, that'd be nice, you know. But that's about who cares? I mean, it probably will lead me nowhere. But eventually, you know, I'll probably get into. Uh, stuff on my own, you know, uh, be my own boss, start a business, something, I mean, I don't know, maybe I'll be a farmer. I hope y'all can hear me over the ridiculously loud uh, Max AC, I guess is what the setting's on right now. I'm only doing it for the sake of the phone. I can take the heat. <laughs> I don't mind sweating. Uh, the neighbors know that, clearly, from this morning's run. But, um, yeah, so back to Twitch, yeah, eventually when, 
you know, we get some money to invest, we'll call it that, if it even gets there. You know, we'll buy, we'll probably just go to Walmart or somewhere and be like, dude, just help me. Because, you know, I, I've got a decent grip on basic knowledge of computers, but as far as the gaming thing goes, and the RAM, and the, you know, who cares, you know, I just have the guy help me, I'm like, dude, I'm just trying to stream, <laughs> will this do it? Because, you know, everyone's got their YouTube video, you know, start streaming now with these, yeah, you know, whatever, so it's, I know it's easy, but, you know, if you want to make it hard and difficult, you can get all the fancy equipment, yada, yada, yada. Sweating is awful, don't turn off the fan. Okay, I feel you. We can hear you, Kip. Okay, great. That's good. I needed confirmation there. Uh, what did I eat, man? Yeah. So I went on a, I went on a run fasted. I had coffee, water, and uh, I killed this run. And then I came back and I just carb loaded. I had like, I had like two English muffins with jelly and butter, and then a bagel with butter and cream cheese and now I don't know now I need to uh, have a decent meal I need to I say decent meal but I'm thinking about eating hot dogs or something crazy <laughs> right uh, I was just talking to a co-worker about uh, hot dogs and he thought it was so gross how I buy like the what is it, the Bar S, 99, or they're not even 99 cents, they're just a dollar. <laughs> dollar Bar S, eight pack hot dogs. I'm like, dude, <laughs> dude, I'm going for, <laughs> dude, I'm, I'm going for bang for your buck, dude. I, I'm not, tr I don't care, all right? If I, <laughs> per, per hot dog price, <laughs> someone do the math. <laughs> But, I mean, it's a dollar for eight hot dogs. Goodness gracious. I mean, he's talking about Hebrew National, all the... I'm like, dude, <laughs> you're gross for spending that amount of money on a hot dog, all right? And then you got to buy the buns. Forget the buns, right? I'm buying... It just sounds weird. I'm sorry. I can't even hear myself with that AC. I'm like, dude, I'm just buying the balloon bread. <laughs> And I actually have a theory, even though I'm talking about e eating horrendous food health-wise, I, I have a fix for that, and I think it's been working for me. First, you have to have the stomach of a billy goat. Not many people, <laughs> well, that's, I mean, I don't know, I, I don't puke too often, and like, I don't get an upset stomach. It's just like I'm a human garbage disposal type deal. It's just like what, what goes down doesn't come up type deal. So, really, he was like, dude, how could you? I, I consider that like the butt and the lips of the pig. And I don't know how true that is. I frankly don't care. You know, it tastes good. I throw some hot sauce on there. Balloon bread, 99 cents. White bread, even though it's terrible for you. Mixed with the dollar hot dogs. Eight of them for a dollar. Goodness, how, I mean... That's cheaper than eating at McDonald's while using the app, and that's like stupid cheap. I mean, I know, I know a lot of y'all probably do that. All four of you, no. There's four people. Appreciate y'all for hanging out. There's gonna be a lot more on YouTube. Don't feel lonely. They'll catch up eventually. Plus, you know, I'm looking at all the analytics and the attention span. So low nowadays. But I'm loving the amount of because we're trying to get to monetization for the channel, right? And if I keep putting out these lengthy videos, because that first one, the first one we did was 50 minutes or so, and goodness, I got like 40 to 6, I think there's like 65 watch hours on there. And the most ridiculous thing about getting monetized on YouTube is they require 4,000 watch hours. So, you know what? We're gonna keep putting these <laughs> these lengthy ones out there, so get used to that uh, at least once a week. Apart from that, there's a new song I put out on YouTube. We are all over the place today, all over the place, but we didn't have a game plan in the first place, so. 
Uh, new video out, Lavender. It's already been recorded. It sounds a little different, the live version, than, you know, because your style changes. If you, well, for me at least, I mean, I'm, I practice maybe like 15, 25 minutes each day, guitar, you know, your style gets a little different playing it. I'm singing all the time, all day. Everyone just knows, oh, there's, <laughs> there's Kip. He's singing again. You know, I'm singing to myself, I'm humming, I'm whistling. I'm not the best whistler, but, oh man, there are some incredible, if you ever get a chance, just go on YouTube and look up talented whistling. It's incredible, that's just, oh man, it's beautiful, it's incredible. The talent people have when it comes to whistling is just, so look that up if you get a chance. Uh, Nega Dad, hey, what's going on? Yeah, sure, shoot your question, shoot it from the hip. Let's uh, backtrack here. Hey, Kip, be honest. You ever cried watching uh, It Bleeped It Out? So, I, I don't know, rephrase it somehow and I'll answer it. Uh, sweating, yeah, we got to that. We got a little face palm, a double face palm, or the thing. I'm nearsighted, guys. Speaking of which, are you following any diet to keep fit? Oh, well, I guess that's what we were talking about. Well, Negadad shoots from the hip. <clears throat> We are going to, uh, I guess, get back on diet. Here's the quick fix to eating trash food. In my humble opinion, drink a gallon. Well, you gotta watch out for that fluoride. This is gonna spider into so many things here, but we'll we'll see where it takes us. I feel like a like a stupid version of Ben Shapiro right now. The, how fast <laughs> we're talking about like ten different things, but he's so much smarter. <clears throat> whatever, however you may feel about him. He does have a quick, rapid-fire mind. But uh, we'll get to, okay, we'll get to Nega Dad's question here. That's a big one, and we appreciate your question. All right, so, yeah, diet-wise, you, you have to get the water in. I mean, dude, I used to, like, blow people's mind. They're like, dude, how do you drink so much water? I don't know, <laughs> did you practice? I, well, honestly, I force myself. And I would know if there's a problem, obviously, you got the lady that drowned doing the contest on the radio, you've probably read about that one, there's water poisoning, all sorts of crap like that. Frankly, I've, I have like just, go <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, like ever since high school, high school I kind of had like a bodybuilding, like fantasy dream thing, that was never going to happen for me. I, I have the body type, but you, you got you to gotta hop on the juice and you got to, I, I probably had the shape for it. I'm not a big guy, but you, you know some people just have that X factor. You can have the X factor and be a tiny guy or just a big old dude that looks like he belongs in the NFL. I feel like I had that X factor, skinny waist, wider sho not wide shoulders, but wider shoulders, and you know decent sized legs. X factor. But uh, I remember like going online, bodybuilding forums, and. Uh, Sorry, that last comment distracted me. Uh, I went on like bodybuilding forums and everyone was like, water, gotta get your water in. Advocate of water. If you're not drinking water, just quit while you're ahead, dude. So, you know, this was like the, this was like, this was apparently like a fad back in the day. Like, dude, you aren't drinking whole milk, dude? Get on my level, dude. You aren't getting as many cats. So, you know, you got your whole milk, right? Every. This used to be a fad before people started like selling it, well at least in my high school. If you were a fitness guy, you were carrying around your gallon jug. And uh, I was drinking one gallon of water a day and it was hard. I understood like I had to force, and I remember reading that. You like They said force yourself to drink water. Get the water in. You're gonna pee like 12, 16 times a day, but just, just do it. You're gonna feel like Superman. You're gonna have pep in your step. You're gonna feel different. And I was feeling different. Dude, I was filling up my gallon jug like in the bathtub. Luckily, the place I was growing up in had like well water, so it wasn't like too fluorinated probably. But, uh, well, it's well water, I mean, goodness. No, it was definitely not fluorinated. But like, there were times, before I made the jump, see, we're, we're spider women. Before I made the jump to alkaline water, which I firmly believe in, which we could talk about later, uh, 
you know, I was getting a gallon a day, gallon a day. Eventually, I found myself drinking more than one gallon, like, you know, a gallon and a quarter. And I started researching two gallons a day. <laughs> and I found out there's people that are like, dude, if you drink two gallons of water a day, you will feel like Goku, dude. <laughs> you are going to be like Super Saiyan, dude. So I started drinking two gallons of water a day. And then eventually... I started drinking two gallons of alkaline water a day, which is just, that sent me to a whole nother level. So that's the trick in my opinion. If you're gonna eat trash food, at least be, at least be drinking like a gallon of water a day. Just look up the benefits. I'm not even gonna mention them because I don't know that many. I, I forgot. I don't, I don't need to remember them. I just live them. I live the benefits. I reap them. <laughs> so. Just look it up one day. Benefits of drinking a gallon of water a day. And when you feel amazing drinking a gallon of water a day, watch out for that fluoride. Just, you know, balance out the fluoride with iodine. Get some Lugol's iodine, 2%, you know, figure out your dosage. Dude, I'm like iodine fanatic, okay? So if you're gonna eat trash, then at least get the water in because it you'll lose weight. Just Google it. Google it, gallon of water a day. When you start feeling amazing, Remember, I told you drink two. Alrighty, so Nega Dad, cool name, cool name. Uh, he says, fill us in on your future plans. Speaking of plans, this Twitch stream was not planned. <laughs> okay, this one was just, uh, I did have a plan. I did have a plan, a recommendation from a friend, which I liked, and we'll probably do next week. <laughs> but uh, it required some planning. And, uh, and a few things I wanted to write down, which I neglected. So we'll do it next week. But this one has been fun, even though our phone overheated at first and uh, it's feeling kind of hot, honestly. So if, if, I, if it blanks out again, I'll jump on and we'll finish our thoughts. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'll throw the phone in the freezer. But. All right, what are, what are some of my future plans? Uh, well, future plans, I'm gonna get married one day. I'm gonna have a bunch of kids one day. That's planned. Let's see, future plans. I'd like to not work a nine to five. That's that's in the future plans. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll break out of that rat race eventually. These are... Uh, and if you'd like detail on any of these, obviously getting married. I mean, what, 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 what could the details be on that plane? Goodness. So let's keep it reasonable. Uh, but I mean, I'm going to break out of that rat race in the, re, uh, in regard to like a nine to five and going to the grocery store. I want to grow all my own food. It's, I'm going to be my own boss, make my own hours. It'll happen eventually. You know, it, Robert Kiyosaki, you know, he's got his weird weird areas, right? But uh, rich dad, poor dad, right? I mean, the people that are too afraid to, uh, the people that are too afraid to make those moves that they dream about making, uh, they're gonna stay poor. They're gonna stay miserable for their, for their whole lives. You know, you have to, you have to, you know, I was just talking with a friend, a coworker. He's like, dude, should I ask for a raise? I'm like, what are you scared? Do it, <laughs> you know, like do it. Don't be afraid. You know, if you want to do something, do it. So don't be afraid. And uh, I'm not afraid. These things will happen. And uh, if you want to take it slow, if you want to do it fast, if you want to plan, if you want to do it uh, off the cuff, improv, whatever, you know, so be it. Just don't be afraid and move forward. So uh, those things will happen. What are some other future plans? Uh, I'm gonna be in a couple movies. I'm gonna be in TV. One thing I keep realizing is I may not have the best profile. I may have a weak chin. I may have all the things that people that seem perfect have, but I know I've got the charisma and I know I've got the grit to uh, to be an A-lister and uh, I'd love to get my feet wet in that industry and I've got a I've got a connection or two, and we'll see if we can make that happen. I've uh, I've got the drive, and I think I'm only, I don't even think I've reached my prime, not to sound too narcissistic and, uh, <laughs> I, you know, uh, puff myself up here, but uh, I, I definitely can see myself 
uh, I'm so, sometimes I watch TV and I watch movies and I'm like, dude, this dude sucks, man. <laughs> Honestly. And I know some people probably might think that about me, but it's like, I like to think of myself as fair and balanced, okay? And that's not a Fox joke. <laughs> no, I, I sometimes I, I watch these people and I'm like, dude, you suck, dude. <laughs> I mean, like, I don't watch that much TV. I don't watch that many movies. But it's like sometimes I just, I'm like, dude. <laughs> it's like I'm, I'm not impressed. And someone brought that up. Someone's like, you're really hard to impress, aren't you? I don't know if that's the case, but I just, you know, I call it like I see it, it especially when it comes to like cheesy or stupid. I don't know if it was the, the director's fault or the writer's or the hit or the combination, but sometimes I just look at certain things and I think, what? <laughs> so whatever, but future plans, that's just if you want to get married, have kids, get my feet wet in the movie and movie industry do some tv if i can who knows maybe get something as big as lost going on who knows i mean like right you get you get lucky you get a great show you stay on they don't kill you off right people like you they don't have a reason to kill you off or something like that so i would love to do that and i know it's coming i think by the time i hit 35 i think then i'll be in my prime because honestly i'm just getting started i think i looked goofy I think I looked goofy when I was like 20. I, I looked I looked all right when I was like a stupid teenager, but from like 20 to, and I've always been like a late bloomer. I think I'm late blooming all the way to like 45, dude. I, I think I'm gonna be looking like these A-listers that are in their prime at 30. I think I'll be looking like that when I'm like 40 plus, honestly, we'll see. I'm going to keep the cardio going. I'm going to keep uh, the sun damage to a minimum while still looking tan. We'll see. But honestly, I think I'm not even peaked yet. <laughs> I I remember a long time ago when I was a kid, I asked my dad. I, I mean, my I'm not going to puff my dad up. I'll just talk on it briefly. But I mean, the dude, he didn't even work out. You know, he just lifted heavy things in his line of work. Right? And it wasn't a gym, okay? And the dude just had like a, like a like a, a baseball size forearm muscle and like a softball bicep. The dude and my mom, you know, she like ran track, you know, skinny, no hips, hurdles. So I don't know. I got like this weird combination, but I, I'm like, Dad, when am I gonna look like you? He's like, dude. <laughs> He's like, son, when you hit like 35, you just get like a vroom, you know, you get you get it's like it peaks, everything peaks, you look good, you know, 35 to 45, if you stay in good shape, you just get that masculine, and you get that drive, you get that look, you get that smolder, whatever you want to call it. I, I think I'm I think I'm just barely like pushing into that area. I, I thought I looked kind of stupid and goofy and clearly young, but I've always I think I'm going to and we're gonna backtrack on these messages once I get done I'm puffing myself up here. <laughs> But we'll just end it there for, I'm not going to get too uh, crazy about myself here, but let's backtrack, backtrack. Alrighty, uh, future plans, yada, yada, yada. Let's see, I don't think you can get any stupider than Ben Shapiro. <laughs> All right, so uh, what's your testimony? And they've got a little crown. I don't know what that means. Maybe, I don't know. We're going we're gonna to make people monitors. We're going to make people whatever. Yeah, I'm going to fix it all in the settings. And I think when I get a laptop or I, forget the laptop, I've got a laptop and it sucks. When I get a de desktop that can handle all this crap, oh, we're going to fix the settings. We'll get the donate or whatever. I don't care. You know, we'll get all that stuff figured out. But uh, I like the crown, dude. Cool. What's your testimony? We can talk on that a little. Actually, we did talk about that last video. If you want to go check it out, it's on YouTube. Make sure you do the right screen size. It's the uh, re-upload. Uh, da, 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 da. And we are going to make like a full length, very detailed video on uh, on my testimony. <clears throat> It'll be fun. It'll be cool. Uh, or more of a bleep than, sorry, some this stuff start out than Ben Shapiro. I see, I've seen you pound that water too. It was painful. <laughs> Best advice ever, bro. I also drink a lot of water as well. Haha, <laughs> Goku. I know, right? Goku. Who? 
looked like Goku. So awesome. Normally I'd be drinking a lot more, but um, I don't want to. I don't want to end this stream too early. I, you know, I don't want to be sitting here dancing. You know, phone did overheat, so we had to strip that thing. Uh, what do you usually eat for lunch? We'll, we'll get to that. Take advantage of the hot weather and hit the beach. I don't even live near a beach, dude. Uh, you deserve that. Are you ever going to do a real movie with me? Ha 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 ha. Well, I guess my uh, connection's blown there. Uh, broski, come on. You are God's perfect creation. You are handsome besides yada yada yada. I can't see if you're inside the heart. Oh, of course. I mean, dude, don't get me wrong. Like, I would love, like, uh, for all my fellow Christians out there, Pure Flix, right? I, don't get me wrong, dude. I would love to do stuff like that, too. I, I would really love it. I love it, dude. Um, I'm not, like, subscribed to them, but I've seen, like, their movies, and I would love to do fun, cool stuff like that. And a lot of those movies are filled with excitement. I mean, I remember I watched them at this little ministry I spent a little time at, and uh, it was cool. I liked it. Those movies are enticing, and they're they've got the drama or whatever. I don't even know if I'm using the right words, but they were fun. I loved them. Uh, I can't think of any of the titles, but I do remember they were from Pure Flix. So I, you know, I'd love to do stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know if I read that question. Uh, not not dead. Yeah, God's not dead. So we're on the right track. Yeah. And I love those movies. Those are cool. Uh, the Ultimate Gift, also the first one, so good, so good. I may have given up five years, given up and I may have given up five years, my friend. I always wanted to do eating, acting, eating. I always wanted to do some eating since childhood. I always wanted to do acting since childhood. Yeah, dude, the only thing about, <clears throat> like, don't get me wrong, I don't know when I had that desire to, like, honestly, someone asked me last time, or someone asked in the comments, like, were you a theater kid? And uh, I will say that my uh, granddad, and my, no, 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 my grandpa, he, uh, I was told, I never, I haven't seen the pictures, but apparently my grandma had like a nice booklet of like all the plays he'd done. So he apparently was like the Hugh Jackman of his time, okay? You know, <laughs> he was like the American. <laughs> it's because I know, you know, Hugh Jackman, right? I mean, just go on YouTube sometime and look at him singing on stage, you know, great stuff man's talented but yeah I mean I've always wanted to act since childhood that's cool man I I don't know when or what age I I think it, I, I think it I think when I started to see people that I knew I could do better than I was like get me up there I'll do it <laughs> plus I just like laughing and having a good time and uh, in a healthy way, like acting, and uh, I should have done theater. I really should have. I probably would have had. I probably would have met a great gal. Probably. I mean, who knows? There's no coincidences, right? I firmly believe that. There's no coincidences. Everything happens for a reason. So there's a reason why I never did it. Maybe I was suppressing all that talent for the first big movie or show. Who knows? We'll see. Maybe you'll see me on Netflix. That would be cool, right? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, you know who I recently, you know who I recently saw, you know who I've recently, what show I've recently been watching who I think is great, he looks great, his acting's great, is uh, that Killian Murphy guy from the Peaky Blinders, obviously that show's pretty inappropriate, but you know, there's some shows that are like, oh, I can't continue watching it, it's just, it's rubbing me the wrong way, right? But with, with Peaky, man, oh, it's like, oh, the cussing and the violence, but it's like, oh, the acting was so good, I just had to continue on. I took a little break. I'm like on season, like, five or four. I don't know. There's six of them, I think. But I was like, oh, the cussing. Oh, I don't like hearing that crap, you know. I don't need that. You know, I don't need to be absorbing all that trash, in my opinion. But, but the acting was so good, you know, and the camera work and everything, the colors popped. It was a great show, and Killian... I remember seeing this, uh, <laughs> I remember seeing, oh, I saw this red carpet clip of Killian, and, uh, the lady, the, the lady interviewing him, he's, she said, and, and the haircut, what about the haircut? <laughs> he's like, oh, he's like, oh, that's another thing. My kids, they think I look so stupid. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I, I thought the haircut suits him, but on the, you know, he grew, he grows out his hair. It's weird because he's got that like smoldering. I mean, he's got the, he's got a great face, right? But it's like, it looks so different when he grows his hair out. That, it's funny how he thinks that haircut's like so stupid, right? And you know, it kind of suits him, right? Those people, you know, the people who put that show together were like, they were on point when they had him doing that. Uh, all right, we got some names that I'm definitely not uh, recognizing, but uh, I can look them up later, right? See, if I was streaming on a computer, which we will get to eventually, I could be searching these things on my phone. But then you, you might catch me like this a lot. <laughs> and that might be boring, right? Actually, you look like, uh, hey, maybe uh, Negadad confirmed this. I need a confirmation from Negadad. Confirmation from Negadad. Copy. Actually, you looked like Hutch Dono, who portrayed Derek on, Z on Zeke and Luther, Disney Channel show. I stopped watching Disney a while ago, but I guess I could look on Google Images. I'm glad you like the idea to be part of Pure Flix projects. Well, I wouldn't mind it. It's not like that's like, that's where I want to go. You know, I'm going to keep my options open. Uh, let's see. But I would love to do something like that. You know, I I think those films help a lot of people. Uh, you got all my support. Go for it. Thank you, man. Uh, what's your role at church right now? Are you supporting any ministry? I, I got a couple people. I got a couple people that have YouTube's channel. <laughs> I've got uh, a couple people on YouTube that... I donate to not like the YouTube uh, what's it called when you do it month I'm not I'm not subscribed to anything like that but you know there's a few people on YouTube that and it's not the uh, it's not the month I forgot what it's called but when you're you get bonus crap or whatever but you know I, I got a couple people on YouTube that are Christians that I uh, you know send you know money to every so often at church, though, I mean, I've got one church I go to. I make a trip to go out to it. Uh, just in my opinion, it's hard to find. Uh, you know what? All churches are great. Uh, you know, because, because, this is just my opinion, of course. All churches are great because most of all churches are singing. And I think that's the most glorious thing you could do. Like I mentioned earlier, I don't know if that was in the last stream or the... But... I'm singing all the time. If I'm not singing, I'm humming. If I'm not humming, I'm whistling. Uh, or I just am coming up with silly, stupid lyrics in my head to come home later and play guitar and figure out a new fun song to sing. So, uh, like that silly song, Contest Girl. I don't even know. I was, I came up with that with like, just, <laughs> it was stupid and goofy. And I thought, you know, I, I, I grew up hearing my dad sing like fun goofy songs of the animal everyone's got like no one can deny this everyone's got like their silly songs they sing to like woo -hoo, woo -hoo, woo -hoo. you know you're you're singing to your dog your cat right and your <laughs> your voice changes like hoo -hoo, oh yeah, good boy hoo -doo, hoo -doo, hoo -doo. you know you everything changes right and uh so i grew up hearing that like <laughs> I don't know, my, you know, it's probably, probably just came down the line, right? I mean, you either have that, you either have that singing spirit in you, whether it's like a creative version where you're making silly, goofy songs, if it's for an animal or just for whatever, you know, sometimes, sometimes, you know, I'll get my emotions out and I'll just sing them <laughs> and I will not be providing an example today, but I'll <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's I don't even know how to explain it but I'll just be like I just sing like something that I would say normally in a few sentences I'll just sing <laughs> like with a just a goofy uh, melody it's just something like comparable to like singing to your cat or dog or whatever so uh, yeah I mean I, don't, I completely forgot where we were at I just got so excited thinking about that all right, uh, so we have a confirmation. Negadad says, younger Hutch looks like younger Kip. Okay, cool. 
Yeah, nega, that's what I meant. Google it, Kip. Zeke from Zeke and Luther, he looks like you. Ha ha ha. Well, I will. I'll check it out. In fact, here, let me uh, just take a little screenshot, just in case. There you go, screenshot. Boom. <clears throat> just in case, somehow, <laughs> we lose this masterpiece. And so, I don't even know what we're going to do with the first like 10 minutes or maybe 15 minutes of that stream. I'll see if there's anything in there worth saving and maybe I'll splice it on the video editor. So uh, if anyone's got any, I'm kind of talked out uh, and you know, I know I'm long winded in that regard, but uh, I think combining that five mile run and five plus mile run and today's stream, um, and the sun, and the lack of protein. All I did was carb up, made me sleepy. <laughs> so, thank you so much for joining me. If you have any last minute questions, get them in, and we'll, we'll do some rapid fire, rapid fire. Or just one, or two, we can take it slow. We can take it fast or slow. That's what I, you know, we're not gonna go there. We're not gonna go there. We are not gonna go there but we can take it fast or slow. <laughs> We're not going there, okay. All right, I meant it. Uh, oh yeah, 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 so I guess I forgot to answer that. No, uh, no, I'm not, uh, uh, I forgot what the original, how it was phrased originally, let's see. Um, uh, da, 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 da. What role, okay. No, I'm not, the role I'm playing at church is like sitting down, I'm just, I'm just attending. That's all I'm doing right now. I'm just attending. I'm singing joyfully and uh, I'm listening to a great sermon. That's why I take the trip out to the one I go to, you know, like 20, 20 minute drive one way. So, you know, but it's, it's nice, you know, at least it's only once a week. And, uh, I, I, you know, I'll say this It's Baptist and man, they love to eat and I'm all for that. It's, yeah, it's just a Baptist church and uh, Baptista. No, it's not a Spanish Baptist church, but I just like saying that. Uh, they love to eat. Oh, man. Then I, I, I heard Kent Hovind say one time, the, I forgot what he said, chicken loving, chicken eating something Baptist. I don't know. But I was like, dude, that's so true because, man, they're always putting on luncheons. I mean, it's like insane how much, like, <laughs> they love to feed people and I'm like dude I'll be there <laughs> dude I almost feel bad because like I'm like the only guy there that's like eating the most food you know I'm not good gorging myself you know I'm eating very politely I'm using my knife I'm using my fork of course <laughs> but, but uh, you know dude I'm all for it all right uh, and Baptists they vary you know there's all sorts of different Unfortunately, of course, with the non denominations and stuff, but the Baptists, it ranges, right? There's all sorts, because we all know there's very extreme Baptists, and we know there's whatever the other side of that would be. So, uh, but, you know, they love to eat. And uh, this guy who's there now, good guy, so. Um, and, I, you know, they're very welcoming. It's cool. Uh, and, you know, it's uh, I've been to churches where I sat down and no one said anything to me, you know. Then again, I wasn't gonna go walk around and introduce myself. I'm there for a certain reason, you know. I'm there for to sing. I'm there to listen. I'm there to learn. Whatever. But uh, you know, it's it's kind of nice when you know people walk around and introduce themselves, and make you feel at home, right? <coughs> All right. Uh, t -t 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 Baptista in Spanish. Okay. Let's see. T -t 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 let's see. Uh, maybe you are helping out in uh, the service. You are. Yeah. Can we ask young people? What do you hope these live broadcasts will accomplish? I hope they'll. Uh, propel me into oh no and we're, it says we're getting a poor connection so this would be the perfect time to end it but we're gonna do rapid fire uh, I hope these live streams will help me accomplish the ultimate goal of uh, I guess more like the the pipe dream of doing this for a living how cool would that be right I'd almost feel bad like if I if I if I had the opportunity to, to do this like every day or every other day whatever for a living like I know some people do I'd almost feel bad <laughs> but 
that's what I'm hoping it'll accomplish, or at least, uh, you know, boost the YouTube views and get us monetized, because really, I think I'm more pro YouTube, but we'll see. I'm warming up to Twitch. I hope it accomplishes uh, getting myself out there in a more, uh, in a more pleasant light and uh, propelling me in all sorts of different ventures, like what we mentioned earlier. Movie industry, possibly TV. I'll even start modeling again. I don't think the height's there, but 5'9". <clears throat> uh, that's what I'm hoping it'll accomplish, and, and we'll keep it up, we'll keep it up. And if, as soon as we get the computer going, two, three times a week, and we'll have a plan. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, let's see, uh, Baptista in Spanish. Yes, uh, by the way, call me after we can, yeah, of course, I'll give you a call, a nega dad. And last but not least, Fred, yes, I remembered. I didn't know Baptists like feeding people. I was, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe these Baptists do. <laughs> they love to eat. Uh, da, 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 da. Right now you are just attending, but in the future, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Obviously, if they need help, because I, I know that they're always, churches all the time are like, hey, if you can help so-and-so, you know, we'll see. We'll see where it leads. And you never know. You know, you go to different churches, you bounce around, we'll see. And uh, let's see, serve the Lord helping out younger people. And see, I love, I would love to help out, you know. I, I just like to help people. Uh, and now that I'm older, I understand that. So many older people when I was younger were trying to help me not avoid the mistakes they knew were coming, right? And if I can help someone, a younger person, avoid big mistakes that I know are coming, or op those opportunities are coming, Oh, I'd love to do that, I'd, and we'll see, we'll see. Uh, big love, my sweet friend, you're doing great here. Thank you so much for the feedback. Everybody, it's been wonderful. Uh, we're gonna throw this phone in the freezer. I feel like it's already saying poor connection, we'll see. I feel bad enough. We're gonna keep going in the car until we get a computer. Obviously, the computer setup will not be in the, in the truck. So, maybe a few more, maybe a handful more in the car, in the truck. I just want to keep it the same, I'm a bit of a creature of habit, so uh, we'll keep the background, and you got a little nature back there, it's nice, so we'll keep uh, doing these in the truck, God willing, and I will see you all next time, okay? Big love, alrighty, take it easy.